We're right here at Model Primary School in Meitama, Abuja. This is polling unit 0026, and this is AMAC, Abuja Municipal Area Council. What is interesting about this place is that we were here during the presidential elections, and this place was filled to the brim as at 8 a.m. It's almost 12 noon, and the place is pretty scanty. One thing is for certain, voting is going on as we speak. The INEC officials are right here, and they are taking voters in, but there are very few people here. Now, I'm with um, Sanusi Ali. He has voted already. Good morning, Sanusi. Yeah, good morning, madam. All right. So, what was the voting process for you like? Um, the process is um, very nice, but the only problem is there is no more crowd, mm -hmm. like uh, at the presidential election. Why do you think that's so? Why do you think many people didn't come out to vote for you know, the AMAC chairman and councillors. Most people don't know their candidate. They don't know who are going to vote for. Okay. I think that is why. How come you know? Yeah, I had people talking about this. Okay. Because even just as I elect, elect now, mm. um, some people are asking, they don't know who they are going to vote for because they don't know their candidate. I see. Mm. I see. Thank you very much, Sanusi. And that is a, a pretty interesting aspect of what's going on in Abuja because most people don't even know their chairman. They don't know their, their councillors. They have no idea what these FCT elections are all about. And probably that's why the, the number is pretty scanty. Anyways, we will continue to go around Abuja to look at how people are voting in the FCT chairmanship and councillorship elections. My name is Gloria Oji Emodi for Roots TV, Nigeria.